The jig is up, Rod. They coming for us. They coming for us or they coming for you? Detective Power. If you have a connection to Martha Thomas, you have a connection to organized crime. You're not getting into no war with my son in the other fucking trench. There's still a price that needs to be paid. I hope your son knows how much you love him. You don't know what you're doing, Kenny. I'm doing it. All right, Power fans. This is it. Season three, Raising Canaan finale. And I ain't even going to play with y'all. I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the real deal is on the finale. That Michael Myers ran his ass down, Ronnie. He's going to be killed by none other than his brother, Unique, who has been hiding out with Stefano all this time. They're going to have a grand meeting, and that boy is going to get burnt like toast. Stefano got that incinerator where he burned Negras, and this is going to be a burnt Negra. The only thing that's going to survive is his damn glasses, and Neek is going to push his ass on up in there. Book it. But having said that, this is going to be my review and my breakdown for the finale trailer, and the only thing I got to say about episode 9 was Lou is not dead. They taking his ass to Horse Pen Creek Academy, the same place where they was taking DMACC, for rehab, watch what I tell you. Let's jump into this video. I'm up early for the dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm in pack full. Dozen funerals in a month. I got that full. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. That's right, people. Please be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on IG. Keep your ears to the streets when you see things about Power, BMF, Hightown, any of the shows I'm covering, and some of the shows I don't cover. Send me a DM, preferably Twitter, but IG if you got it. Let's go ahead and go right on into this thing. First thing we see, Detective Mike Tomlin Howard, he done got his religion again, y'all. Don't y'all love it when people be about to be the end of the rope, end of the road, as boys the men say, and then all of a sudden they find religion? And you hear him voicing over to Rock as they go through the pictures. He says, Rock, gig is up, Rock. They coming for us. And then Rock, in her, her sexy physique, but man-ass voice says, they coming for us or they coming for you? Hmm. I, folks, I don't know how Rock can say that because Howard can throw the whole Thomas family under the bus. If they coming for him, damn it, Rock, they coming for you too. Unless you're going to do something to make Howard not give it up. And the only reason I can see him not doing that is for the love of his son. Then we got Tanner fucking Sachs. He's talking to Howard and he's saying, Howard, let me change this to a white boy voice. Mr. Howard, if you have any connection with the Marvin Thomas, you are connected to organized crime. And then he gives him this stern look. And as he's giving him that look, they show Marvin at a grave site, y'all. Damn. Post your comments on what you think is going on at this grave site. He's visiting somebody we know. I don't want to say. I want to see if you guys are going to be able to guess it. Then, keeping the action hot, <laughs> we got Howard talking again. They're doing a lot of focus on Howard which means Howard likely is going to get arrested this, this episode. And this time Howard said, there's still a price, a price that needs to be paid. And you know he's talking to Rock, and he already done gave Rock the price to be paid. He wants Marvin to take the fall for everybody. We know Rock ain't going for that, and Howard ain't got no friends. So he's going to have to take this fall, and it's going to be up to him whether he takes down the Thomas family and, folks, we know he's not going to do that. Shout out to Wardrobe for keeping Rock looking immaculate, even though she got that voice. She is talking now, and she is saying, you hear, you hear a voiceover of her saying, not going to get into a war with my son. And then they show her having another sit down with snaps and pops and they missing crackle. But he's going to be crackling, ladies and gentlemen. This episode is really going to be snaps, crackles, and pops because Ronnie ass is going to be called Roasted Ronnie, and I'll get to that in a minute. 
but she's talking to them. They rubbing hands like they about to strike a deal. And who knows? The best thing I can think of is like this. I don't think that Pops and Snaps really care for Rodney because he done fucked up with their money. So I feel like Rock is about to go in business with Snaps and Pops somehow, some way, and that's where Stefano comes in. We see Howard again talking to Rock, and he's starting to get he's starting to go down that road of Lulu. He's looking sad and awful. And then we get somebody sticking up our girl Jute. And and you know what? What happened to Jute this episode is just sad. It's pathetic. She and that girl group is about to be disbanded. Juke is going to have to go do her own damn solo thing. And you know what? That's probably best for Juke. She was the most talented in that damn group. Crystal really and truly didn't want to have nothing to do with her. And then was messing around with her cousin, just poking the bear. I don't know what's going on here with this robbery of Juke, but I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think is happening. Could this be somebody dealing with Ronnie, one of his folks? Possibly. Then... The crescendo, the icing on my cake. For all you people that's been running around here talking about you want to bet me that Ronnie's dead. You want to bet me that, excuse me, not Ronnie, Unique is dead. You want to bet me Ronnie's not going to die. I've been saying this case the whole season and I'm sticking to it and they're showing you the clues right here. You got Stefano talking to Marvin and Rock. And Stefano is saying, Hope your son knows how much you love him. Does he really know that? I'm sure he does, but do you think he'd give a damn? And then from there, they show Ronnie in what looks to be Stefano's incinerator warehouse with Kanan meeting up in the corner with him. And then you got Rock talking to Kanan saying, you don't know what you're doing. Kanan looks at her with his young folks' eyes and said, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, in this incinerator room, let's go back and hear what Stefano say he do in this room. You're about dying with this thing. It's up to almost 3,000 degrees in there. Press a button, and in a blink of an eye, you turn a human body into a pile of dust. This furnace made a lot of my problems disappear. Poof. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what's about to happen to roasted ass Ronnie. His brother's going to pop out, burn that ass up. Kanan is going to have to find him a new help because Ronnie is going to be gone. Pops and Snaps are going to be down with Rock. And Unique is back. Which is going to leave poor little Kanan up the creek by his damn self. And then they end this trailer, ladies and gentlemen, with a Crown Vic LTD pulling up beside Rock. And she's looking in there, being nosy. And at first I was thinking, hmm, maybe Unique will pop out of this car. But hell no, nah, y'all. What pops out of this car is the door waving the 4-4. All you want to hear is don't hit me no more. And look at the look on Rock face. This is the most scared I've seen her. This is the most dark makeup I've seen on her, looking like a black Cruella DeVille. Boy, this bitch scared as hell right here. Are they going to end another season with Rock getting shot? And then right after that, they show her son, basically saying, I do. Do y'all really think Kanan would call a hit on his mama? Has it got that serious? Is he that mad that, she killed her ace boom, his ace boom coon, roasted ass Ronnie, and now he's calling hits on his mama. Post your comments down below. Let me know how you feel. Again, here's your boy Unique leaving out of Kane and Crib, face all bruised up if you look at it, and there's Crystal going into the crib, probably about to go and try to give Kanan some more two-minute sex. Let me know what you guys think. Get ready for this finale. It's going to be a doozy. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.